Hi everybody, it's Sally with Vintage Discoveries here with some vintage jewelry haul, hauling. Got some new stuff. Oh, it's gorgeous. We're gonna start with this. You might have saw a picture of it. This cuff bracelet, well, it's not really a cuff. It opens up, has the safety on it. It's um, <clears throat> a name that I don't pronounce well. Friarich. That's the best I'm going to be able to do. But I love this. Oh my goodness. On both sides, this amazing detail. The scroll work. Mm. Love it. I love this detail on here. I don't know what you would call it, but unbelievably gorgeous for me. I love it. I get excited when I see a cartouche. You know what I'm saying? You just see something, you know, even though I can't see it without doing a close-up or having my little thing with me. I see a cartouche and I say, yes. Cartouche me. <laughs> I don't know what that means. But also, this is not vintage, but I thought it was really pretty. Sterling. Every time... Oh, <laughs> it's 12 o'clock. That's why. And it is every time. Uh, this is sterling. And it's got the... I'm going to say it's lab created. Oh. All right, Brody. Lab created opal in this sterling ball. I like the double chain. Very pretty. I have a hard time passing up any kind of opal. What's up, bro? Oh my goodness. It's the postal worker. This. Apple juice bakelite, some egg yolk bakelite, reverse carved. Fantastic. Beautiful, gorgeous. I don't think I've ever had one of these before. Love that so much. I was looking some up and um, I would love to have a bracelet. The, I saw one all in um, apple juice and green. Oh, so gorgeous. But this is super, super pretty. Look great on a blazer or a coat. Totally into the blazers this year again. And this is like a coat brooch or a blazer brooch. Definitely I would wear it like that. That. I can't pass up a bug. It's a cool bug. Look at the head. Kind of a, a different iridescence on that, right? It's carved and it's got a little bit of purple, if I'm not wrong. Really cool. I can't pass up a bug, especially when it's all rhinestones. Love it. Even when it's not, I still love it. Absolutely. Picked these up because I have this already. I would like if they were a little bit more round, you know, kind of like a fat head, but it goes enough not to be too matchy matchy or, you know, too different. But yeah, I had this one, but I saw the earrings. They did have the bracelet, the articulated bracelet. Um, yes, and I meant to film inside the antique shop. I am gonna go back and film, but I was overwhelmed. <laughs> Uh, and what was I saying? Oh, yeah, I had this before and I love it. I think it's a little bit over the top and I love that. But they had the articulated bracelet that also matches the over the shoulder um, brooch. But I, I don't I don't wear much bracelets lately because I'm always wearing this to track my exercise and everything. So, but on a special occasion, 
I could throw on a bracelet for sure. So I've got those. A couple other things. Um, those are new. That's new. A couple other things that I still have that are available. This, you know what? I forgot I had this. This thing is old. And I know I wrote it. It says vintage. Well, it doesn't say vintage. It says that Liberté something. Mm -hmm. For a pin brooch. I had this in my um, in my booth when I had one. It was in France, 1940. Silson brand. You know, you would think I would write this properly. But, yeah. It was firm. 75 bucks. I just found one other one that was sold. It was more than 75 bucks, but yeah, something about, was it the women's liberation or something? This is what they, they wore in France. Isn't it pretty? Just happens to be red, white, and blue too. I think that's the color of the France, the flag. Don't get me wrong. I, I should have looked that up first. This I know had a name on it. I don't want to sniff because, but got the sniffles. Is it Florenza? No, it's not Florenza. What is it? Oh, not Patina. Okay. Oh, Panetta. Yeah, jeez. I don't think it's missing anything. They're just a little bit dark from what I know. Yeah. It's simple, but I think Panette is a good name. I'm trying to get rid of as much as I can without hurting my feelings. But this is like something silly that I don't know what to do with. Like I'll look at it and I'm like, oh, it's so adorable. It's so cute. And it's got this little cartouche thing and it's gold filled Winard has such nice stuff you know but it's worn so where would I do with it you know should I put it in a craft lot or should I do oh, I don't know I think I just put it in a lot or something but I could use this I love this chain the older chain and um I found this this gold filled Vandel little pendant and I thought that'd be nice for layering right gold filled little number so maybe I'll just do that but yeah haven't found that uh, Tiffany ear other earring yet so the quest continues and I had matching earrings of this that needs to be found because this is beautiful for fall I think I've seen this online before and they were saying it was Bakelite. I don't think I've ever tested it for that. Did I? It just bugs me that the rivets are showing. Like, really guys? Couldn't be more discreet about that. But I love that. I love that amber color. And these, beautiful. These, I think, are coral. Yes. These were in my last sale, but they didn't sell. Hey, they go with the B. I have this, which I also think is coral. Yes. And this is silver, which... It's labeled sterling. But I've seen things that are sterling that are in rough shape, like this pitted, really old, you know what I mean? So, and I think this comes in a larger version or it's a circular one. I know they make a lot of these with the birds like that, that I have seen. I've seen larger ones before, but love that. This is still available. This is the Bakelite um, or Crystal Light, kind of like the Bakelite in in the crystal form, still available. Uh, that didn't sell last time. Look. Ooh, got a little bit of wear there, but 
That's adorable. These, which still puzzle me, because these are, are they stay sterling on the back. I guess they're gold over silver, you know. Um, I love those, but I don't know if I have weird earlobes. They just don't sit right on me, but I do love them. This has got a little bit of a ch -ch thingy here. But yeah, if anybody wants those, let me know. Oh, you know what I meant to bring up? I have a necklace to match these. And it looks like a blah color. Do you know what I mean? Like, what do you call this? Beige. I think, I thought it said Germany on it, but. Oh, it's Japan. Wrong country. I have the necklace to match this. It's just a lightweight plastic, but I think that would look really pretty. Like uh, today I'm wearing like a camel colored, <clears throat> not sweater. You know what I'm saying. I, that's like my staple wardrobe is, um, all I can think of is cameo and that's not a cameo, not Capri. <laughs> uh, this is what happens when temperature goes above 70 in, in November. Uh, cardigan. Ah, yes. This kind of cardigan. But if you wore like a, I don't know, like a, like a different kind of color blouse underneath or whatever and had this, it's not so, not so plain. You know what I mean? I don't know. I just like it. I got to bring up the necklace and show you guys. Remember this? Still don't wear it. But I love it. And I was told that it was agate, but I'm, I'm going with, um, something else. <coughs> citrine, not citrine. Um, you know what? I'll just lay it here. <clears throat> Let my brain think a minute. Cause I don't remember. Carnelian. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I yelled. I yelled at ya. Woman pins by Lucinda. She also does the house pins. Lucinda in the house. But, um, I don't know where I saw it. Oh, <coughs> I think it was, um, on Instagram. You know how people pop up, you don't really follow them, but they pop up for you to follow them. And, she had such a collection, this woman. Really nice. All the holiday ones. Very impressive. Very nice. The holiday ones are the good sellers. Definitely. Oh, this. 1936. Now, I don't know if that ring is that old, or if this just when they developed this whaling museum in Cold Spring Harbor. But it's something I could look up, evidently, right? That's cool. Carnelian. Let me know if you think it's different than Carnelian. I don't know, you know what I mean? I don't have that kind of tester. Is this a ring or part of a American Legion auxiliary? A ring or is it part of something that was used to something else like a um, keychain or something attached to something? I don't know. Could be a ring, right? I'm going with that. Spirit of 76. That's definitely an original. I have so much stuff. Oh my goodness. Now, this is old. Vintage. I love this. I love Goldfield. I love anything Winard. This might be Winard. I'm going to take a look. Now it just says Goldfield and it says CC. So I'm not sure. But is this Moss Agate? Is that what they call that? Is that what we're going to go with? 
because I also found a bracelet, a necklace that kind of goes. Let's back it up. This same stone, I believe, right? Really pretty chain. It's a necklace. It's got the shepherd's hook. I don't believe it was marked, but let's go in and give a look-see. Mm. Oh, it's got a little dangle. Oh boy, that's tiny. Tiny little thing. I think my, I might have to use my close-up-y thingy. This says... It's 14 karat gold filled and it looks like Wells, W-E-E-W-E-L-L-S, Wells, Wells. That's not a name I'm familiar with, but this is a necklace. It's not a matching thing, but you know what I mean? It's the same stone is what I'm trying to say. And I love it. Very pretty. So. That's it for today. I, hold a, I have a whole bunch of other stuff um, that I want to go through with you guys. So let me know um, what you think. Give me a thumbs up and if you want. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. That would be greatly appreciated. And let me know in the comments if you're interested in purchasing anything. You can send me an email at uh, vintage.discoveries. So vintage period discoveries21 at gmail.com and um, I will do my best to answer you ASAP. Now, um, what else was I going to say? Oh, I'll put that in the description. I'll link my uh, email. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a great week. Hope everybody's well. Talk to you very soon.